in 21 days and counting. That's how long 200 people who used to call a New Haven apartment building home have been living in hotels instead. They were forced out of their apartments at the Bella Vista Senior Living Community by a fire. And with no definitive date on when they can move back, News 8's Ken Pierce live to tell us many of them are saying they really need some help. Yeah, Ali and Chris, good morning to you. The problem is right behind me. That's building D here at Bella Vista. Huge building. This half, you see, there are some lights on in some windows. They have power. This half of the building, no lights on in any windows. That's because over there, there was a fire three weeks ago in a series of electrical utility closets damaging the electrical system in there. So the couple hundred people who call that part of the building home have all been living in motels ever since. Motels paid for by the folks who run Bella Vista. That part is fine. The trouble is they're missing missing some of the amenities of living at Bella Vista. For instance, people are complaining that they can't get rides to and from their medical appointments like they could with the shuttle system that they run at Bella Vista. For another thing, uh, at Bella Vista in their apartments, they've got kitchens. In these motels, they do not. Now, they have been provided food by the Brantford Food Bank for those who need it. That's largely canned goods, though, and without a kitchen, they can't cook any food. So people are complaining about that. And there's no telling when they're going to be moving back in. It could be another three or four weeks, we are hearing. So later on this morning, the older woman for this section of New Haven is going to be holding a press conference calling for more aid for these folks and encouraging people to donate to a fund that's been set up to help the fire victims as well. An interesting note, the woman who, the older woman for this section of New Haven, she actually lives at Bella Vista in the section of Building D that still has the power on. Live at Bella Vista in New Haven, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.